guys, welcome to Mel's Chronic Condition. Uh, today we are going to continue with our lessons for new time smokers and uh, new medical marijuana patients. Only today we're actually going to do our first infusion. We're going to work on how I make can of butter. Um, how I do this is all from trial and error and just research and it is not professional. I am not a scientist. I don't have any fancy machines. It's just a really simple way to infuse a really potent cannabis with a mason jar and some different strainers, but it's uh, how I've been doing it for a while. I am working on a better video, one that gets a little bit more in depth with the details um, and is a little bit better shot, but I'm waiting for some tech to come in. Uh, and so I'll post that up once I make that more professionally. But in the meantime, this will just kind of show you how I make my really potent and actually really good tasting compared to some of them I've had before, um, cannabis. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So let's get straight to it. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get started. Then the first thing that we are going to do is talk about the can the butter it's the most important thing besides the cannabis i use vital farms and i try to use really healthy ones that don't have additives or anything like antibiotics in them but the most important thing we need are these numbers right here and that's our fat content the reason this number is so important is because cannabis and cannabinoids actually bind with fat cells like with um fatty substances and so the higher this number the more you are going to get in your out of your infusion, like the stronger it's going to be able to be because it was able to be absorbed more into the product. So you want to find something with a really high fat content. Um, if you guys know one that has a higher, please let me know. I'm always interested in good butters. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them into chunks and put them in a mason jar. The reason I'm cutting the butter into chunks is to make it quicker to belt, melt. That's all. I am using four sticks, um, six sticks total in this, trying to come up with four sticks at the end worth of butter. So, you know, two pounds. Once you have your butter, you're going to put it in a mason jar, like I said, <laughs> and then you're going to put it in a crock pot. This crock pot I got, I got for only like, what was it? 10 bucks, something like that from Walmart. Anyways, once it's in the crock pot, you're going to fill the water and the water is going to go up to the line of your product. And that's for temperature regulation. Um, so if you use less, you're going to use less water than I did and then put it on low and get started with the uh, melting process. And then we'll move on to the next step and on to the cannabis. This here is a mix of full flour and trim that has been decarboxylated that is a very important step in this you have to decarb and if you don't know what that is look it up and i will be doing a video on it soon but i want that cbd in there for the pain relief so i do um decarb for that with the trim and i use them both i will be using quite a bit in this recipe because i want it really strong and the important reason that I'm measuring it is because if I don't know how much I put in there, I will not have any idea how strong it is when I go to make my edibles and that could be very disastrous. Um, so once the jar is full and you've got your cannabis ready, you're going to pour your butter in. And if you see here, there's a separation between what we call the clarified butter and the rest of the milk fats. That separation there is uh, the top part is the most fatty part of your butter. So that's what we're gonna use is that clarified fatty part on top. And once you pour that all in there, you're gonna wanna have your butter at or above your cannabis level because there has to be room to stir it around and move it around and let the fat uh, cells reach all those THC and CBD and CBN cells. Um, do, 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 do. Look at it pour, look at it pour. <laughs> All right, so when we are done pouring it, we're gonna put it in the crock pot and cook it for anywhere from six to six hours up. Six hours is like my quick cook, and then I will do a longer one for a more potent butter. And sometimes I just forget or hurt too bad to come and get it. But 
We are just gonna leave it there, stirring every few hours for, like I said, a minimum of about six hours. And then we move on to the messy part. All right, so we are doing a quick and dirty dump with this butter, and that is because directly following this, we are going to take another two sticks of melted butter, add it to this butter, put it in a whole nother jar of fresh flour, and infuse that for another day. And that's just so that every single fatty molecule in that um, butter that we initially infuse can be absorbed with some THC. It's uh, It might be redundant, but to me, I feel like it just makes it really strong. And I need really strong cannabis, can of butter around because I don't use pharmaceuticals. Um, so I need something that can take its place and be very strong and very pain relieving. Thus, again, that CBD that we wanted to draw out. So right now I am just hurting my fingers, pushing down on all of that good, delicious cannabis and squeezing out that even better, even more delicious butter. And it takes a good minute and it's hard work and I could probably get some sort of a press or machine to make this easier, but I don't know, it kind of makes me feel, um, I don't know, I like it, like a mad scientist when I'm doing this. So I, I like doing it by hands and until my hands stop working, I'm gonna continue to. So like I said, the next thing we're gonna do is reinfuse this with a little bit more butter to try and come up with the amount that we need. Um, right back in with that melted butter you see behind in the crock pot right there. We're just going to uh, mix the two of them together in another mason jar full of cannabis. Um, I think I used a total of six ounces of weed and let's see, six sticks, so three pounds, six ounces of weed to three pounds of butter. Um, I, I don't know what the proper ratios are and uh, I grow my own weed, so I have it like that to quote unquote waste, but um, like I said, I, I need it to be really potent. Anyways, all right, so once again, we stopped before when we finished the clarified part of that butter, and there was a lot of butter left that's, you know, totally okay. I, I knew I was gonna be wasting some, that's why we did it this way. And there we go. We're gonna let that infuse the exact same way that we let the first batch infuse, stirring it every few hours. And as you do, you'll notice the plant material get softer, mushier, and uh, it'll leach into all that delicious buttery fatness. All right, let's see what we have up next. For the next one, we're gonna need a couple tools, a container, a filter, some pantyhose that are knee high and some gloves and i will go further into detail on each of those in just a minute the reason that we are not going to do the quick dirty um filter that we did last time is that we won't be adding any more cannabis to this so we want to actually get as much of that material out from this point forward now we have the gloves on because this is going to get very hands-on I know I could probably, again, get a press or something, but this is fun. And yes, all right, go ahead, let's have the debate. Do you use cheesecloth or do you use pantyhose? I think that knee-high pantyhose, they come in a pack, couple, blah, 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 blah. They come in a pack of a couple, they're super cheap. Every Walmart in the world sells them. I don't have to cut them, I don't have to, I can just toss it when I'm done and not even worry about it. It's like 20 cents of you know, pair, it's no big deal. And they sit on the mason jar really well. And I like the fact that I can use like the little bit of excess um, fabric to pull really tight on that cannabis and get as much of that ooey delicious um, butter out as possible. So yes, I know a lot of people are down here and say cheesecloth, cheesecloth, the cheesecloth, but you know, I use what I got and it's always worked for me. Um, the filter is a coffee filter and it has a very fine mesh, but it's only $4 and I do not care if I mess it up. I have gone through many of these. You can find them at Walmart and, um, I just, I think they work really well, especially because they fit beautifully inside my Pyrex. There's a, uh, my Pyrex two cup glass measuring cup. It, uh, it has a little handle -y thingy on it. It's super easy to clean. 
and the bottom is solid. So if I don't have pantyhose and I'm trying to just, you know, get some medicine real quick and make some real quick butter, I can just uh, string it directly into it and, and kind of squish it down into the bottom the same way that I did with that larger, um, what is that word? That larger, why can I not think of it? Sauce sieve, whatever the other word for a sieve is, filter. <laughs> uh, actually, that was a colander. You know what, guys? I got brain fog, and, uh, you know, it, it don't work, especially not at one in the morning when I'm trying to finish this video. Anyways, we're going to continue to do that until we have gotten all of the cannabis back out of the mason jar and all of our butter in our... Um, container here uh, because we are because I am making so much at a time it doesn't end here I have more so I'm actually going to put it into another container so that I have room to strain uh, the remainder of that out if you were only making like um, one or two sticks you would probably move on to the next step right here rather than having to dirty up another dish but I do not yet have mason jars big enough for my horribly uh, ridiculous habit. Like, I, I eat way too much edibles, guys. A lot, I live on it, but because, like I said earlier, I don't need a lot of pharmaceuticals, and I use cannabis for so many different things. You know, if I can make myself eat a small something with uh, my butter in it, usually it'll make me hungry enough to actually go back and eat something real that's not infused afterwards. Um, and it tastes really good and it's really great when, you know, our friends come over and stuff and I don't know, I'm just a big fan of edibles. I've gotten really, like I said, mad scientisty with it and we are almost done with all of our drip, drip, drip. Oh geez. The Encanto song just got stuck in my head. Oh boy. All right. Wish me luck getting the Encanto song out of my head. We are now moving on to what I consider to be like the one of the most important steps in this whole thing and that is cleaning our butter so the thing in a plant that gives it its color and its taste is chlorophyll chlorophyll does not bind to fat but it does bind to water i mean it binds to fat but it binds to like water really easily so when you want cleaner better butter you're going to clean it by um pouring water in heating it back up, stirring it around really good, heating it back up. And then we're just going to pour it back into a bucket, water and all the whole thing. And we are going to put it in the fridge for usually overnight, it, uh, at least a couple of hours, but usually overnight, especially when you've got a larger amount like this. Um, wow. My RV is not straight. Uh, anyways, you can see how, um, the cannabis underneath is or on top and then the water is underneath and now we just have to get that water out and here i spent about 10 minutes being absolutely ridiculous trying to squeeze it out the sides when i could have easily just done what i'm about to do and cut the damn thing open and gotten the water out like that uh sometimes i do not do things the easiest way i would suggest you just starting with cutting it like this and uh make it a lot easier on yourself. The water will all just come out at the end. And when you have the water gone, you are left with beautiful butter. We're now going to do the very, very final last step. And we're going to melt this butter back down and let whatever little bit of water is still in it kind of um, absorb back up into it. And we are going to do one last little round of filtering. And this is going to be our final product, guys. We are at the end here in our cannabis, can of butter making experience. If you guys have any tips and tricks you guys can help me out with, please do comment with them down below. Um, otherwise, this is just my, you know, at home mad scientist version of making some really potent and actually, as you'll see in a second, really clean uh, butter. Oh, I forgot about this. Yes. So I actually add butter extract to my final product before it, before I solidify it. Not that much normally. It actually turned out really good, but I didn't quite mean to put that much. Um, 
but I add that so that it's again less cannabisy, less overwhelming. I still get that earthiness in my recipes, but I also get that butter taste, and I actually really do like the taste of butter. So, um, there you go. Final product: green light, beautiful can of butter that is very potent and it seemed complicated but i promise once you've done it a couple times it is super easy all right so there you have it my quick and dirty janky method of making can of butter um i know there's a couple of things that i just kind of blew past i'm still not used to this whole voiceover video making stuff but i'll uh explain a little bit more about some of those things right here um First thing, very important, I should not have blown past decarboxylation. It is almost the most important step in the process. Um, it's a big long word, but it basically just means to activate uh, your THCA and your CBDA, your, um, the cannabinoids that come in your cannabis plant right off of the leaf. Uh, it has to be activated. You need to use heat to turn it into its psychoactive counterpart THC or CBD um, without that A after it. Uh, very chemical, either way, you do need to decarboxylate and I will make a video of how to do that or you can just go look one up on YouTube. There's a thousand out there and it basically just means using heat. So a select uh, low temperature heat over a certain amount of time to activate those cannabinoids. With my trim, I can I decarb those for a longer time at a lower temperature to specifically bring out the CBD. And then for the actual plant, the buds that I'm using, I will activate those to specifically activate the THC. So a little bit less of a time at a little bit higher of a temperature. And then um, what else was important that I kind of blew past? Oh, measuring. So no, I did not use specific measurings. I almost never do. I'm really horrible about that. There are websites out there that will kind of show you um, what the basic measurements are for how much cannabinoid to how much butter, et cetera. I tend to go online to find a free cannabis calculator. Like um, they have THC potency calculator that'll tell you how strong something is. And I'll find out what number I want to end up with. And then I'll use however much product to whatever ratio it says to use to get to that final amount. Um, but if you're just, if you just have like, uh, an eighth of weed, you know, just use your one stick of butter, put your eighth of weed in, and then um, you can use that same calculator to find out how potent that is. And I do highly recommend doing that when you're making your edibles uh, to see how strong it's going to be. I've gotten to the point where I kind of know how much uh, to use in each recipe, just because I've been using the same way for so long, I tend to know how potent it's going to end up being. Um, but there are times that I use the quick route and I don't do that. And <laughs> end up getting like way too trashed or it doesn't work. So I do recommend taking the time to figure out exactly how potent your butter is going to end up. And again, there's a lot of sites out there to help you with the measurements and stuff. And I am working on another video that will kind of um, actually specifically go into all these details as I'm doing it. All right, guys, I hope you guys were able to learn something or that you're able to see what I'm doing. Go, oh my gosh, women do it like this. It'll be so much better. And then I can learn something. Um, either way, it was fun to do this. I'm really having a good time, uh, you know, learning all this technical stuff and, uh, kind of, you know, doing these videos. So I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. And as always, y'all are loved. I hope you have amazing days and you don't get anywhere without first putting one foot in front of the other, taking one step and then taking another and me and God love you guys. Mwah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>